Hey guys, um, today you guys are going to have quiz review one, um, tomorrow you'll have a review two, and then Friday you will take your chapter five quiz. Okay, so this is all about point slope, slope intercept, um, so some of it's going to come very easy, some of it will not. Um, I'm going to do all of the odds, and then you guys will do the evens. Okay, so, um, so the very first one says find the slope of each line. Well, what do we know? How would you describe slope when you're thinking of it in terms of a graph? Okay, well, slope is also known as rate of change. It's also known as M. And it's also known as rise over run. Okay, so if we were to do it, obviously the rise over run is gonna be your best method Okay, so it's just a simply matter of counting. So we rise one, two, three, four, and we run two. Well, what is four over two? Well, four over two is just two. Okay, and we say, well, is this still positive or negative? And we can tell that this one is definitely positive. Okay, so it's just gonna be two. Okay. The next section on here says, find the slope of the line um, through each pair of points. Okay, well, it tells you what to find. Find the slope, okay? So, we know our slope formula is gonna be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so we can go ahead and label. x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, y sub two. Okay, I know you can't see this very good, but um, let me, x. Okay, so, I got y2 is gonna be 10 minus y1 is six over y2, this one should say y2, negative 16 minus x1 is 20. Okay, well 10 minus six is gonna be four. And then negative 16 minus 20 is gonna be negative 36. Okay, which is gonna end up being, um, if you do it on your calculator from here, it'll take you to here, so it's gonna be one over nine, negative one over nine. Okay, and if you're not good at simplifying fractions, definitely hit that calculator button, and you can even type in the four over 36 in the calculator, and it's gonna give you that one over nine, okay? The next section on here says, find the slope and the y-intercept of each line. Okay, well, we can kind of look at this and say, well, what form does this look like it's in? We've only got three formulas, okay? So you um, only got three choices, slope, slope intercept, and point slope. Okay, well, we can kind of look at this and see, well, what does it have? Okay, well, it wants you to find the slope and the y-intercept. So what formula has the slope and the y-intercept in it? Well, slope intercept formula. Okay, if we look at slope intercept formula, it says y equals mx plus b. Well, what matches up with what? Okay, well, this matches up with this, and this matches up with this. So my m, or my slope, is one half, and my b, or my y-intercept, equals negative three. And that's our answer. They just want you to say m equals this, and b equals this. Well, not they, me. Okay, number seven says write slope intercept form. Um, right here, tells you what to do. Write slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. That means my answer, and I'm gonna cross off all this other junk, because it really is, it's just junk. It's, I don't wanna say it's junk instructions, but there's a lot of verbiage already, and you have a tendency to get mixed up, so just focus on what it's asking you to do. This is what it wants your answer to look like. Now, we know what, our answer needs to look like. Now let's look at what we got. Well, we got a slope and a y-intercept. Well, that's perfect because our slope intercept, that's all it requires. So we're just gonna have y equals m is negative one, x plus my b is negative four. Okay, and normally you don't see us write plus minus like that right next to each other. So you can almost erase that plus. Um, I'm just gonna leave it there just for now, um, just because. Okay, so um, the next section on here says write the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line. Okay, same thing. 
Um, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo up here, but there is also a good, so it wants you to write slope intercept form. So my slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And as you guys can see on every single one of these problems, I write what I want it to look like. What's the formula? What should I, what do I want it to look like at the very end? Okay, and then all this other crap, I just keep crossing out because it's junk. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. So my m is definitely my slope. Okay, this is definitely slope. And my b is called, okay, my y-intercept or my starting point. Okay, well, I can look and fill some of this stuff in. So my y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, which is gonna be at zero, zero. And then we need to find the next close point. So we got y equals blank x plus blank. Well, I know my intercept is gonna be b, so I can fill in that blank. Okay, and I find the next closest point. Um, and it doesn't matter if you travel up or down, but it has to be on the equal crosshairs, remember? So I can't pick like this point. Okay, that's in the middle of nowhere. We don't know exact the exact location um, of that point. And I'm sorry, because you can't really see that that good. Um, we don't know the exact location of that point, um, so you can't just pick no random point, okay? Um, it's got to be a point on equal crosshairs. So, um, we're going to travel up, and here's one, and then here's one. So, either way, it does not matter which one you use, but you start from the bottom and go to the next one up. So, if we were to do this one, we would have to go rise over run, or rise over run, okay? So we're gonna rise one, two, three, four, five, and we run one, two, three. Okay, and we say, well, is that slope positive or negative? Okay, well, some of you guys are gonna need some of these notes and you can use them on your test, okay? So we got two pictures here. Um, okay, and this one is a positive slope, and this one is gonna be a negative slope. Okay, um, so make sure that you know the difference between um, a positive looking slope and a negative looking slope. Okay, so um, this one is gonna be a negative looking slope, so that negative five thirds needs to, you need to put a negative sign out front in front of it, okay? Okay, the next section on here says write the point slope form. Um, of write the point slope form and so my point slope form we can go ahead and circle this and we know what our answer should look like y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 all this other stuff is correct okay don't pay attention to it this is what we want our answer to look like when we're done that means our answer should have parentheses when we're done okay so we can go ahead and label x1, y1, and we got a slope. Okay, and we can look at what we got and what we need our answer to look like. Well, what we got is a point and a slope. Well, that's perfect, because we're doing point slope. Okay, so we got y minus y1 is three, equals my slope is gonna be negative one, x minus x1 is two. Okay, and we said, well, are we finished? Or do we need to distribute into slope-intercept? Well, we are finished because we got some parentheses here and everything looks good. There's no negatives to be turned into positives and so we're done.